Bonjour, mes amis. Je m'appelle Jim Hanks. Et bienvenue chez Flugatronic. Hey, welcome to Flugatronic. Today we have a very special unboxing. We're going to be trying an instrument from France, from the workshop of Antoine Malot. Uh, shop goes by the name of Malopelli. I'll give you links to all his sites. Um, what we've got here, kind of an unboxing, taken out of the box. <laughs> okay, what this is, is a kind of style head joint for a silver flute, or in my case, red flute. All right, um, a while back I um, presented this instrument and I ordered this with a Native American style head joint. And just to remind you what this sounds like, let's see if we can get a little sound sample. Some of the things with, with this setup, um, if you'll notice the reach is a little bit longer and it's side blown, of course, like a regular flute, um, which is different from all my other flutes in my collection. So I wanted to try something that would be um, more akin to my other flutes. So I found this um, idea of putting a different style head joint and there's lots of options for that. Some folks uh, do a whistle type or fiffle type uh, head joint, uh, but I found this one and wanted to give it a try. Uh, so Antoine, uh, I was talking with him and, and seeing what he suggested and uh, just for sound and weight, we decided to go with pear wood. As you can see, pear wood head joint. Classic Kenna style notch in the end. And we've got a brass tenon, I believe. It's wrapped in plumber's tape, that's what we call it, PFT tape, I think. Um, so this will slide right in. Now, um, Antoine leaves these um, on the narrow side, so you can see this is not a tight fit at all. Um, so that's intentional so that uh, depending on the flute you can adjust uh, the size and included some some extra plumber's tape for me. So we're gonna have to uh, do this. Now I could tell that was a very very loose fit. So I think it's gonna take quite a bit of the tape. I have some more of this. I've, actually, I'm just going to use all that he sent. <laughs> if I need more, I can get more. If I need less, we can take, take a little bit off. Might need a little more. Let's just try it like this. It's still kind of loose. But let's just give it a try like that. Okay, so the idea here <laughs> is that you play it vertically. Let's see if we can get a sound. <laughs> So obviously I'm getting second register right off the bat. So let's, uh, let's try again here. Uh, 
Um, so I'm getting three different Ds there, so that's getting up into the third octave. Which I could not get anywhere close to that with the uh, with the Native American uh, head joint. cool. <laughs> Alright, obviously it's going to take a little uh, practice to get used to, and I'm probably going to have to get a little more tape because that's obviously a loose fit still. Um, what else is in the pouch? Now he also sent a um, little thumb rest. Looks kind of like a recorder style thumb rest. Let's see, so this would be for the bottom hand. So right about there. Now for a regular silver flute, this would be even more important because um, it's a lot heavier than the Guo, Guo new voice here. Helps support the weight of the flute um, when you're playing it vertically like this because um, yeah, obviously that's different than, than side bloom. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like this. So you get um, get a little um, little pitch bend ability there with with the head joint. Um, much higher range I'm able to get with the uh, Native American style head joint. Um, obviously, we'll we'll play with some tones and <laughs> try and get a little little pure voice there for uh, for the next video. Oh, by the way, I'll give you a link to uh, Antoine's playing sample if you want to hear what this is really capable of right now. Um, obviously. Um, I'm not giving it uh, everything it's capable of yet, um, but we'll uh, we'll give some practice and see if we can come back with some real songs. But um, till then, yeah, uh, Antoine, uh, merci beaucoup, <laughs> and we'll see you next time.